Hello everybody, these are 5 pieces of the 21 inch ruler sticks or paint sticks that I bought from Home Depot and I have cut it for, I have it cut for 17 and a half inches each and I will be using these giant craft sticks that I bought from Walmart to glue them together. So I just cut them to fit onto these um, ruler sticks and I just see to it that it will be spaced evenly. I need not put anything or nail or anything because I love this glue stick. It really sticks so good. So after that, I am going to paint this with a Waverly chalk paint. I will only apply one coat with it. Um, paint the front, the sides, and so with the back. And once dry, I will rub this tea light onto there because I want to have a chippy finish on this craft. And once it's totally covered with the tea light, I will paint this with the Waverly Cashew. I will only apply one coat. I am using a fine brush. And once it's dry, I will be using this packaging tape and I will rub down the I will rub it down with uh, using the handle of the pair of scissors that I have and you see it has a different finish and I really love it so I do the process until it really is uh, it has a chippy finish the whole board and after that I am going to uh, lightly scrape this with a paint scraper that I bought from Home Depot. I have this dark antique wax by Bear that I bought from Home Depot. I will um, lightly brush this onto the board using an eyeshadow brush and I could see that it really is very nice because I'm into distress and a vintage look and I love this to look like it's really old. I have these two pieces of hearts. It's not really wood but it's kind of hard material. It comes in a pack of, it's not a pack but it's it comes in a three and um, I, just, I will just use two pieces of it and will paint it with the Espresso by Art Minds. I will only apply one coat, I will dry it, and once dry, I will uh, trace this onto the burlap cloth. And I will cut it again to fit. I will uh, just put glue, hot glue onto the sides, to the edges, and I'm going to um, sand this to make it look distressed, the edges. And once done, I will apply Mod Podge onto that area. I will not uh, apply the Mod Podge on the edges because I'm going to glue it. I'm going to apply glue. And I'm going to glue this time the burlap cloth. I'll do the same process to the other heart. I have this um, brush actually with the paint um, that I used. I will just dab the paint onto the sides to make this look distressed. And so with the heart as well. And once done... I have Jenga blocks or tumbling blocks from Dollar Tree. I will just glue it like that. And I do the same process to the other heart. It doesn't have to be painted because it will not show. It's, it's on the back part. So I'm going to glue it there and I will just put it in an angle because I want to have a different design on this board, on this craft. Now I am starting to just arrange some artificial leaves and uh, flowers there from Timu. I have the Sweet Annie uh, to be the green uh, to serve as the greenery there and it really looks so awesome. I love how it was arranged 
I love how it turned out. And now I am going to use this twine bow. Oh, I'm sorry, twine to make my bow. Just a simple bow. And once it's done, I'm going to glue it right below the flowers in between, uh, on top of the heart, right in the middle. And I will make a very simple bow just to match with the flowers. I have coffee stained uh, lace from Timu and I have also plaid cloth there. I put a, a touch of uh, red so there will be a little color for this craft. Once I'm happy with my bow of how it turned out, I will start to just tie it with a jute twine. I will fix it, make it look fluffy. And once I'm happy with it, I'm going to tie it very tight. So once I am satisfied with how it looks, I'm, I will uh, glue it right uh, there on the left top corner. And I have these wooden beads. Actually, I already have painted this prior to this video. I painted it with the Art Minds by, uh, I'm sorry, by um, espresso by Art Minds and once dry I will just string it first I'm going to string three beads and I will uh, tie a knot and the other one is two beads and I will just put it there glue it at the center of the bow and just put a uh, a piece of button I cut these pieces of plaid cloth and it I cut it with the same size for both um, hearts and I will spell out the word hugs and kisses. I used a scrapbook paper. I just cut it with the decorative pair of scissors. I will be using this dark antique wax by Bear again um, to make this look distressed. I just lightly brush it on the sides and of course on the front. And I will just glue it right in the middle of the plaid cloth. It really turned out so nice. I love how it came out. If you like to see more of my craft ideas and you want to be notified whenever I go live, please go to my main page and please click like and give me a follow. So that's the finished craft, everybody. It turned out so pretty. I just love it. I hope you love it as well. It's simple, but it can be an all year round kind of decor. So it's very romantic kind of craft. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you love this. I really love this craft. That's the finished craft. It's just so pretty. Thank you again for watching and till next time.